friends welcome to unity 3d teacher tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how to snap the dropped object while we are dragging a particular 2d using a canvas ui so let's see how to do that canvas image and then just choose any image which you like to drag set the drag system so i'm just setting some images which we required for us so we have some images so i'll make some three dragging images okay set up everything perfectly according to the size which we required okay and then rename the object also so before renaming we'll just have one more set called drop okay so we so from there you are going to drop so next thing is we are going to rename the drag object so that we can identify which object need to be dragged and do some setting right so that's why let's we name all the dragging objects Okay, so do the same for drop object also. Okay, so everything has been renamed now. So next thing is. Uh, we are going to make a drop object as alpha reduce so that it, you get to know that where you want to drop exactly so that you can have a difference between the drag object and then the drop object okay so next is we'll change the image as a different image because we need a different set types of scenario for each image so that's why i'm changing the image concept for different different foods kind of stuff both in drag side and drop set so next we go for drop object and change the alpha value okay and then the color also to little bit black so this has been said so like this you are going to make a drop okay uh, so we uh, first we'll do a uh, first step is uh, uh, we'll create a drag system and after that we'll go for drop system but before going drag and drop we need to initialize all the variable all the variables as uh, where the object is present where the object is target everything so we are going to do that now okay so let's create a script it's called snap dragger maybe snap drag controller okay open the script to the main camera so main camera is going to be like a central controller so from the controller you are going to set the variables which we required for our drag and drop controller so first we need drag position and then the drop position okay so just initialize the transform and then use a drag position array to get that so drag objects similarly for drop also drop object So next we need initialization position of a drag object i'll tell you later why why we need that initialization position so let's have initial drag position okay so once this 
3 is done next we want to fetch the initial position from the DAG object so I am using a for statement uh, for int a i equal to 0 i lesser than drag object dot length i plus plus so till drag object length this for loop will work it going to store a data from drag position to the initial position okay so just have initial drag object position is going to be a vector 2 so just uh, you want to get exactly the vector 2 right uh, either we can try with vector 3 yeah uh, still there is error cannot convert to vector 3 okay so the issue is here let's have a vector 2 itself the issue is here it's already a vector 2 so you want to provide the initial drag position with some uh, variable parameter because it's in array right so i am giving an array for a variable so we have everything next we want to see the initial position is sitting or not no it's not sitting so everything is fine but you want to make sure that you want to set the drag position and the drop position okay so public refer refer the all the drag position drop position initial position everything going to be three only array size so i'm just setting drag drop and then the initial position will be a three so drag that drag object and then drop object So everything is done, done now so let's try it now okay so hit play now you want to see that initial drag position which is coming from drag object one two three okay that is fine now so next thing is we want to set the drag control so public void drop object and then the parameter will be the type of the object okay from which object that drop is calling that is the one thing so close and open the parenthesis similar same function we are going to have for drag also i'm right so copy that and paste again and change from drop to drag same thing which will pass only for a parameter okay so drag and then drop it uh, so the next thing is uh, uh, you want to get the drag object of i and then while dragging what you want to do so you want to set the position of a dragging current mouse position that's it okay so we'll see how it work so before that set the even system and then pass the value so even system is going to have two types one was drag and another one is drop okay so find the dragging and set the value of your current object same thing do for drag object one drag object two drag of the three so and then drop object okay so snap drag dropped choose the third and set the value for each the thing so this is going to be a one for second thing because it's a second object so similar things for drop choose the drop and then choose one likewise do for the third also So everything is set now. I'll be getting one. Surely we'll see what's that. 
so the name it does not okay i am sorry it need to be object position so everything is done now let's check it out see you can able to drag now it's working so everything is working fine so next thing is you want to choose a drop system so what i'm doing is i'm setting up the drop system drop system we're going to have a distance to find the distance between a drag and drop and then you are going to make some uh, snapping thing right so that is a main concept of our uh, video so just get the drop object position of i and then drag object position to find a distance between them so the both has been done uh, okay of object position it's going to be a object position okay it's fine but we getting some error let's see what i cannot convert unit engine transform to vector 2 what is that yeah so if you see it's vector 2 so you want to get only the position right not a transform so dot position so once you got the position the distance will be calculated so everything is fine now so now check the distance if distance is lesser than some value if it is nearest value just start doing some snap okay so let's have a parenthesis and then have a condition so and then we are going to have else statement what happen if it is not snapped so that is a one more condition i'm right okay so now let's, let's get the drag object okay so copy that and paste that so if it started dragging we want to find that position and then we want to do something to snap so get the drop object position and match with the drag object position once it, it reaches the certain distance so i'll change the drop object name so that it will be very easy so change the name for each and everything okay drop object position it's going to be let's save and uh, change in public reference also since uh, we have changed the object name go to the unit editor and drag and drop the drop object so everything is done now so let's see how it work so hit play so once you play you can able to drag and once you go for in here the object is dropped perfectly but we have one issue the thing is uh, you in a drop object you want to do something i'll make little bit position little bit lesser so that it is very, very near exactly it will start snapping so in drop object please remove the ray cost because ray cost it will block the dragging object thing also for drop object we don't need anything right so that's why i removed that ray cost so just drag now and try to go nearby it snapped perfect so we are getting almost the concept see so it's snapping perfectly when it is reached before 40 distance so this is a good thing so next what happen if it is not snapped so if it is not snapped we want to move to the initial position that's it right so we're getting a one error it should be a to do issue it's going to be a initial dot position that's it save that and let's try it out now 
drag yeah and snapped also done perfectly so next thing is uh, you want to do one small step that uh, you want to make sure that once it's dropped dragged you want to make uh, the drop object need to be set active right so you don't uh, so sorry uh, drag object it should not be again not draggable so uh, you want to disable something the movement of that uh, drag system so i'm just getting the image and then i'm going to disable the request so request we, we are using for drag and drop so that's why we are getting the image and then request dot enable equal to false i think request enable is not a thing yeah request target and then it's going to be a no so it's like a boolean right so it will come like dot request target equal to true or false i think that is the best thing we'll try that now dot request task equal to true that's it so false so because once it's dragged i don't need a request for my drag object it will be remained in same state let's see what's happening so drag yeah so you can't able to drag again so once it's reached the position it will be snapped that's it see if it is not uh, reach the position it will be go get back to the position so we'll try in big window one more time see snapped 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 so that's it guys if you think this video is very helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe us thank you